you already know. Uh, let's go, hey. I know you back because you want some more. It's your girl, Tori A. That's a fact, but sure, the H for fire. Ayana act like you know. And yeah, you tuned in, so enjoy the show. Bow. Bow. Big brr. Hey. Actually, it's Big TT. Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Tori Ayana, and as you can see by today's title, y'all will be getting ready with me to go to a college kickback party slash college gathering slash just hanging out with some of my college friends. So today it is up. We are having a little barbecue slash poolside kind of moment. I am so excited because not only did I miss my college friends, but who doesn't like barbecue? So right now it is about 2.10 in the afternoon. I'm about to beat this face and then we need to head out to go get some sweets because you know black people need to be released from the shackles of saying they need something sweet after every meal that they have. I might be a victim of that. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Without further ado, let's get into this phase. Uh, these braids are gonna piss me off like I just recently got them done and the curly hair at the end is already getting all like you know how synthetic hair gets anyways first off I'm gonna start with my brows I think I'm gonna have to go off camera and do my brows because these hoes take forever to do okay, okay okay so there's the brows that only took me like 20 minutes and next up since we're chilling poolside even if we weren't chilling poolside we're going in with some Neutrogena sunscreen some face sunscreen because babes you don't want to be aging in your face by the time you're 30. That moisturized before we even started. So next we're going in with the Fita Beauty Primer, the Hydro Filter, some shit like that. Um, y'all, I just got my tits pierced, or I just got one of my nipples pierced and I have restricted movement. That's why if you see me like going around, it's because they're a little sore and they're a little sensitive. I might have a video on that coming soon. Stay tuned bars stay tuned if y'all want to see that if not i won't post it if so i will post it but yeah i did get my nipples pierced so that was a whole experience within itself and i think that would be for those who want to get their nipples pierced i think you should watch that at first i was really unprepared but um we just jumped into it so that's the best way to do piercing. I never really want to plan it because if I plan it up until that day, I will chicken the fuck out. So I just recently got the Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I haven't heard much on this, but I am in this shade 445 from what I think because you can't really test products in Sephora or Ulta. So I just went with what I thought was best. So I'm not usually a foundation type of wearer and I think it's kind of dumb that I'm wearing it today, but we just want to try it out. Okay, why do new pumps be acting like this? Y'all, this matches perfectly. This is the side with the foundation and this is the side without it. I'm feeling this and I'm rocking with it. So we're just gonna finish up the makeup and we're gonna see if it really comes through with everything else that I use. The thing with Fenty Beauty foundations is that they oxidize and that's why you have to usually get a lighter color than your skin. But I think I got too much of a perfect color so if it oxidizes, it might be too dark. That's what I have a feeling of. I feel like there's not much for me to talk about because there's not much that I really do. Um, I'm always at work. I'm always in the gym. Well, I haven't been to the gym in like two months, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But there's not much that I can really speak on because there's not much that I do. My life's pretty boring. I'm just your average Joe taking every day one step at a time. I have been looking into apartments and looking into new jobs. I do graduate next year. So June 2022, which is next year, I will been have graduated from college and um, I couldn't tell you what I wanna do because the major that I majored in, <laughs> It's not really, I'm interested in it, but first and foremost, I'm a psychology manager. But I find that interesting, but I don't find that something that I really see myself doing for the rest of my life. There's this one question my dad always asks me. He always says, what would you do for free? Basically, what do you love to do that you'll do it for free? And my thing has always been, you know, um, making people feel good about themselves through fashion, through makeup and stuff like that. I have always been that type of person. Like I really enjoy makeup and fashion and that's just how I you know portray myself how I portray my personality is through my clothes and you know through how I carry myself and I just like to help people feel the same way and so that's what I was looking into was like a fashion school or stuff like that but everybody knows that 
fashion school can cost a lot of money and babes it's normal for people to pull out loans in life like that's one thing that i feel like i am like stressing myself out is like no loans don't pull out no loans don't pull out any loans don't pull out any loans but like that's just what it's gonna have to be i wasn't born into money so i'm gonna have to put myself in a situation where i can get to the money and if i have to pull out some loans so be it i might have to cry myself to sleep every night but like at least i made it to the top well, my version of the top, right? But yeah, that's just what's been in my head lately because my family have been asking these questions and you know, I don't really have an answer to give them. And you know, I just hope to make it. Like I just hope to be my version of successful and I just know that I will. I just don't know how that journey is gonna be, you know? I don't want to go through the struggle, but I know that I might have to, to get where I wanna be. So now we're done with the foundation. I think it gives me a cute little glowy skin. I think these artificial lights aren't doing its justice on camera, but baby, let me tell you, this is the business and then some. Next up, we're going to be putting on some concealer. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on concealer because I'm gonna be outside. I don't really wanna sweat all this makeup off. Like I'm actually kind of doing the most, but like, have y'all bet me? <laughs> if y'all watch me, y'all kind of know that I do the most. I don't really know if y'all do actually. I don't really know if y'all know me. Anyways, let's actually do a quick little Q&A. If you're not following me on the socials, y'all need to go ahead and do that. I will link it right here. So I guess y'all can kind of get to know me because I don't really speak too much of myself. I just kind of come on camera and just show a little fashion, show a little makeup, and then that's really all that you get. Let's get from the surface level. So first off, my name's Tori and my little name is Ayana, hence the handle Tori Ayana. I am from Houston, Texas. My favorite TV show at the moment is Manifest. Now I am late, I know I'm late, I might be seeming like a whole bandwagoner but let me tell y'all how obsessed i am with that show like i stayed up last night till 5 a.m i'm on season three damn near the last season and i'm obsessed the show kind of scares me but like in a good way i mean if i was on flight 828 baby i'm collins i don't know how that's gonna go i might have sit my last down i don't know if that's gonna work for me I'm too lazy for that. Crush that, I don't think I'm gonna do the questions because that seems a little boring and there's not much interesting about my life. How about this next topic? Okay, I've been looking into getting another tattoo, but do I need one? No, do I want one? Yes. So I'm debating if I really wanna finish out my sleeve. I have six tattoos so far and I don't know if I wanna keep it like that for right now and establish a career, but the way it's looking, I don't even know what my career is gonna be. So I might as well just finish it out. I already started strong. As you can see, I just jumped right into it. <laughs> I didn't waste no time whatsoever. I really wanted to get into, uh, you know, taking pictures and, you know, documenting different times of my life. I am a nostalgic bitch. Like, I love anything that brings me back to times where I was having a good time. You know, those loved ones that I lost, having little memories with them through photographs, through messages, emails, you know, different things like that. I wanna get better at documenting different things like that with my friends, with my family. Because y'all have watched me do my makeup about 200,000 million times, I'm just gonna come back to y'all when i'm finished and we're gonna get into the outfit i already love it so that is it for the makeup right after i finished up my makeup i went ahead and changed my hair i actually put it in this cute little high ponytail with curly pieces hanging but yeah that is it for the hair and makeup now it is about time to get into what i'll be wearing and what i'll be smelling like so we'll be picking out my outfits and then choosing what fragrance i'll be wearing so let's get it let's go all right, y'all, so this is the fit. So we have on the cute little H&M shorts. We have on the cute little H&M bralettes. A button up from Shein. I have this tote bag that I'm gonna be carrying some products in. First, we have the hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna be bringing my glasses cleaner and my glasses because I wear contacts but these usually give me an issue. I also like to pack a good body mist just to re-up if I'm feeling a little bit moist, a little bit funky, cause that does happen. I'm also going to bring this pouch with my contact solution, some toothpaste, a toothbrush, ibuprofen, some travel deodorant, as well as some travel lotion. You never know if you get too drunk or if something happens, you, know, you can't drive home, so I like to bring this kind of stuff. And I also like to bring my lip liner, my lip gloss, and my beauty blender, just in case I need to retouch my lips or my face. And some wet wipes, just in case the bum try to touch you. Ew. And so that's everything that's going to be in my tote bag for today. And then I have on my knockoff Yeezy slides because who in the hell about to spend $500 on some rubber? So that is the fit for the pool party. Oh, and then I have the shades. 
yeah, don't forget the shades. And for the scent today, we're going to be wearing the Candy by Prada. This one is not too strong, but it still gives like a summer age, grown woman sexy vibe. So I'm gonna go with this one. And I always like to spray behind my ears and stuff like that just to stick. The time is now about four o'clock and the festivities start at 5.30. So I'm going to chill a little bit before I have to go to the grocery store to pick up some dessert. I will talk to y'all when I arrive to the event. See ya. Secured the cake. This cake right here is undefeated. Just wanna see me right now.